History has shown us one undeniable truth. A legendary aircraft can achieve near mortality if its design allows constant rebirth and evolution. One such marvel is the F-15 EX Eagle II, a jet Boeing proudly calls a digital pathfinder for the next generation of air dominance fighters. Why? Because the breakthroughs in software architecture, digital design, and system integration developed for the Eagle II are paving the way for America's future sixth-generation warbirds. So, the big question is this. Is the Eagle II the final chapter of the F-15 legacy, or are we witnessing a bold new era where even veteran aircraft can challenge the latest unmanned and stealth systems? Let's rewind to the early 1970s. The U.S. Air Force faced a grim reality. The once mighty skies were slipping from its control. The Vietnam War had exposed painful weaknesses. The McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II, despite its power, was too heavy, lacked maneuverability, and relied far too much on missiles. Dogfights were still decided by cannons, and the U.S., despite technological superiority, was losing aircraft and pilots. The nation demanded something radical, a pure air superiority fighter, built with a single mission to win the skies at all costs. Enter the FX program. Fairchild Republic, North American Rockwell, and McDonnell Douglas all threw their hats into the ring. Even NASA joined in, helping fine-tune aerodynamics and test new concepts. Breaking tradition, the program skipped the drawn-out prototype stages and leapt straight into full-scale development, saving time and avoiding bureaucratic risks. The gamble paid off. In July 1972, the F-15 Eagle roared into the skies for the first time. By the following year, the two-seat F-15B proved its dominance. Unlike its predecessors, the Eagle was uncompromising, neither a bomber nor a carrier hybrid, but a true sky predator crafted for one purpose, air supremacy. Its stats were jaw-dropping. A blistering top speed of Mach 2.5, paired with the advanced and slash APG-63 radar, which could spot low-flying enemies over 200 miles away. Even more groundbreaking was its programmable system processor, which allowed regular upgrades without replacing hardware, a concept so successful it's still used today in jets like the F-35 Lightning II. But speed and sensors weren't its only edge. The Eagle had reach. With external tanks, it could fly more than 2,000 miles without refueling and cruise at Mach 0.9 without afterburners. This meant the U.S. could project power anywhere, fast. And in combat, the results were unmatched, by 2008, the F-15 had claimed 104 aerial victories without a single loss, a record no rival could touch. Fast forward to the 2010s. The U.S. Air Force was at a crossroads. Production of the F-22 Raptor had ended in 2011 after only 187 jets. The F-35, though promising, was proving costly complex and not yet fully battle-ready. Meanwhile, rivals were rising. China rapidly expanding its air fleet, Russia exporting the fearsome Su-35, and global tensions escalating. The Pentagon needed a reliable, heavily armed, and versatile fighter. One that didn't always need stealth, but could deliver raw power, endurance, and affordability. Boeing had the answer. The F-15QA Qatari Advanced, a cutting-edge export variant brimming with next-gen avionics, automated flight controls, improved engines, and, most importantly, an open mission systems architecture that could evolve with future technology. This became the foundation for the F-15EX Eagle II, perhaps the ultimate and maybe the final evolution of this legendary aircraft. The upgrades are nothing short of staggering. Yes, the Eagle II is heavier, but it's also far smarter and more agile. Its digital fly-by-wire system and twin F-110G 129 engines pumping out 29,500 pounds of thrust each make it more maneuverable than any previous F-15. Stability has improved across the board, from takeoff to extreme asymmetric loads. Pilots can now pull off aggressive maneuvers without worrying about angle of attack limits. Engineers also redesigned the wings, boosting service life to 20,000 hours and massively increasing payload. The Eagle II can now haul a jaw-dropping 29,500 pound of weapons, almost doubly original, across 23 hardpoints instead of just 9. In other words, the Eagle II isn't just a fighter, 
It's a flying arsenal, capable of carrying the heaviest punch in U.S. Air Force history. Thanks to its advanced amber missile and bomb ejector rack system, the F-15EX can now carry an astonishing 22 air-to-air missiles. Let's put that into perspective. In a typical air superiority or escort setup, the Eagle II could already haul 12 AM, 120 AMROMs, or AM-9 Sidewinders. For extended racks and conformal fuel tank CFT modules, this beast levels up, packing 16 small diameter bombs, GBU-39s, for more AMROMs and two AGM-88 harm anti-radiation missiles. And that's just the start. The Eagle II's new design is also paving the way for future hypersonic firepower. We're talking about carrying massive next-gen weapons like the AGM, 183 ARW air-to-ground ballistic missile and the hypersonic attack cruise missile HACM. Munitions so large and powerful that most modern fighters couldn't even dream of mounting them. Now, let's talk survivability. Sure, the Eagle II doesn't have the stealth advantages of the F-22 Raptor or F-35 Lightning II. But what it does have is a cutting-edge suite of integrated avionics and defensive countermeasures designed to keep its pilots alive and in control. At its core is the APG-82V-1 radar, which fuses the APG-63V-3 ASA antenna with the APG-79V-5 processor, backed by a new cooling system and adaptive RF filters. The result? The Eagle II can perform radar and electronic warfare simultaneously when linked with the Enslash ELQ-250 APOS electronic warfare suite. APOS provides full-spectrum radar warning geolocation of threats, and integrates seamlessly with the AN-47 chaff and flare system. Boeing keeps some details classified, but here's the cool part. The system learns in real time, recognizes enemy signals, adapts instantly, and flips them for counter use. The first U.S. Air Force pod with this tech, fittingly called the Angry Kitten Jamming Pod. But the Eagle II isn't done showing off. With the Legion Pod's IRSD sensor, it can passively track even stealthy aircraft by detecting heat signatures instead of radar waves. Pair that with the digital joint helmet-mounted queuing system, which lets pilots lock onto targets at extreme angles of sight, and you've got a hunter with eyes everywhere. Best of all, its open mission system's architecture ensures it can use both the latest electronics and proven legacy tools, like the Lantern and Sniper XR Pods, for precision low-level strikes day or night. Now, what about numbers? Between 2021 and 2024, procurement plans shifted from 144 fighters to just 104. But the FI 2026 defense budget flipped the script, allocating $3 billion for 21 more jets, raising the total fleet to 129 aircraft. This surge followed President Trump's surprise announcement that the Michigan Air National Guard, losing its A- 10 Warthogs, would be re-equipped with the Eagle II. So, what's the Eagle II's real battlefield role? While there's talk of it controlling swarms of AI-powered collaborative combat drones, its primary future looks clear. The ultimate missile truck. Stealth jets like the F-35 and F-22 may sneak in undetected, gather targeting data, and feed it back to the F-15EX, which then unloads its massive arsenal from a safe distance. This makes the Eagle too essential for deploying oversized hypersonic weapons, some stretching 20 feet long and weighing nearly 7,000 pounds. Simply put, these won't fit inside stealth fighters anytime soon. And that's the beauty of the Eagle too. It doesn't need to be invisible. It just needs to carry the heavy punch that stealth fighters can't. In fact, far from being replaced by drones, the F-15EX is likely to become even more important as the muscle behind tomorrow's aerial battlefield. So here's the big question. Will we one day see an Eagle III soar in the 2050s, or will the F-15EX finally hand the skies over to 6th generation and GAD fighters? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. 